Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. My name is Pamela and this is the Sweater Weather Podcast. So yesterday when I filmed, I did a kind of a short video um, because I was heading out to meet my sister at her restaurant so that we could have a little Christmas dinner, just the two of us. Um, my sister and I do not have any other siblings. Uh, it's just she and I. So um, we're thinking about making this a little tradition now that I'm living in the Ottawa area and she lives in the Ottawa area. So we had dinner at the restaurant that she owns with her husband and um, he's the chef there, excellent chef. And it was so nice. Um, everything was decorated for Christmas. It just made me feel like I was really getting in the Christmas spirit and just to see all the Christmas decorations and the twinkling lights and all of that. It was just so pretty. And the food was amazing. The name of the restaurant is La Dolce Vita. It's on Preston Street in Little Italy in Ottawa. And it's a cozy, um, really welcoming restaurant. The staff's amazing. The food is amazing. I had the fried polenta bites as my appetizer, but it is a very large portion. And um, so, for, so, and it was excellent. And so for my um, supper, I had the tomato soup, also excellent, so tasty. And we had wine and we talked and we laughed. Um, there's some inside jokes that, you know, only sisters <laughs> get. So nobody else would probably understand um, some of the things that we laugh at. But anyways, it was an excellent time. Great way to start off the Christmas holidays and I hope that we can continue that as a tradition. So I had brought her her advent calendar and um, she really liked that. She enjoys puzzles so she can open um, some of the puzzle pieces every day and then I've added some extra little treats and things in there and she gave me um, this beautiful lantern and I'll insert a picture because it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so twinkly and sparkly and I have the perfect place for it. It has cardinals inside the lantern. Cardinals are just so special to me and they remind me of my mom. So I absolutely love that. Anyways, okay, um, moving on. Um, I had to already open my pineapple yarn mini skein because I ran out of the previous yarn and I didn't want to stop before I had a chance to film. So, um, I will insert video of me opening the day three mini skein from pineapple yarn. It is is looking more and more like a fade to me of some kind. Um, the colors are beautiful. I'm just going to show you where I'm at so far. So I'm hoping this comes across. I haven't woven in the ends. Um, actually what I only really need to clip the ends. I don't need to weave them in because I'm just, um, knitting two strands together when I introduce the next color and you can't see that. So all I really knew, need to do is to clip the ends. Um, I, I'm putting my own border on the shop, um, well, maybe I'll start from the beginning. So um, this is the mini skein sampler by Crystal Bergstrom. Um, actually, um, <laughs> this is not what I was originally planning to make. So when I first saw the yarn, when I saw the first mini skein uh, that I unwrapped, I had actually decided that it would be really nice to pair it with a white mohair and to do the Memory Keeper shawl, um, and that is by Paulina Carew. Um, so that was my plan. 
And then when I try to cast on the Memory Keeper shawl, it starts with an I-cord tab. And because of the mohair, I was just, and probably the lighting wasn't the best either where I was trying to do that, which is in the, the seat that I usually knit in in the evenings. Um, but what was happening was that the mohair was filling in all of the little holes that you need to pick up um, and knit to form the I-cord tab to start the shawl. So I tried it a few times. Um, I probably didn't give it like the old college try. I probably could have um, gone up a needle size to make the holes a little bigger and, and done a few things like that. But I just decided, no, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. Um, and so I switched to the mini, mini skein sampler. Um, I'm going to do the Memory Keeper shawl another time because I still really like that pattern. But anyways, so for, for my advent knitting, I switched to the mini skein sampler scarf by Crystal Bergstrom. And I'm using a size four needle or a US size 3.5, which is not the needle size that's called for in the pattern, but I just like the fabric that I'm getting. Um, it's done in a garter stitch. So this is uh, supposed to be a scarf knit on the bias, but because I cast on way more than double the amount of stitches, it's going to be a wrap instead. Um, on the scarf pattern in between the colors, there's an eyelet row. Um, so that looks really pretty, but when I had opened the yarn and kind of realized that this seemed to be more of a fade, I didn't think the eyelet row um, made as much sense with a fade so as it does when the colors are more defined so I just opted to skip the eyelet row and 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 just fade the yarn so um I'm not doing anything special to fade the yarn it's doing all the work itself and so far I'm really loving it and it is a bright a bright spot of tropical sunshine in an otherwise uh, what can be dreary weather. We've been lucky so far actually with the weather. I, I can't complain. Um, it's been pretty mild. We did have a little bit of snow already, but it's already melted. It's gone. So we, we get a few flakes every day, but they, they don't stay. So, so far it's just been mild weather and, uh, actually really pleasant to go out and walk the dog and that sort of thing. Um, to do some last minute Christmas shopping. Well, for, for me, it's last minute. <laughs> I'm usually done by Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but I do have a few more things to pick up, nothing big. But I really am enjoying um, exploring the area that we've moved to and finding all kinds of new types of shops and stores and restaurants and cafes. And um, it's just, it's a, it's a really beautiful area and I have to say that I'm really feeling that my home in the woods, so we're, we're in the woods in Quebec. Um, we have approximately an acre of land and it's all hardwood trees and it, it's just beautiful. The, the autumn was absolutely stunning and, um, Everything about living in this place is just warming my heart because it just feels so, it feels like I'm home. Even though I lived in my previous place for 20 years, I just feel cozy here when I'm out doing things during the day. I can't wait to get home and just settle in. So that's a great feeling and um, it's a great experience. And, and I'm loving it, honestly. So anyways, okay. I'm going to open up a few more advents. I will open up the David's Tea, 24 days of tea on day three. And day three is... <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, so... Um, it's written in French and in English. This tea on day three is called Headache Halo. 
And in French, and excuse my pronunciation, please, but in French, it's au revoir mal de tête, <laughs> which means like goodbye headache or goodbye my, my sore head. <laughs> so that's interesting. I want to smell that. I'm interested to know what, it, what that's all about. Okay, so I think I can see some lavender in there. It's, it smells pretty. It doesn't smell Christmassy, but it does smell pretty. So, and next up is my, I have to look at it all the time because I forget, my William Morris Gallery Advent Calendar. So this says William Morris at home, hand and body wash. I can just, uh, it has a sealed top, so I can just barely smell it, but I think it's pretty mild anyways, which is nice. I should explain that my hair is wet because I just came out of the shower. So it says, write five notes with random compliments. Now leave them in unexpected places like the train and bus seats for a colleague's desk to share some love. I just noticed that they, I, I hadn't seen that they had little um, things printed on the side. That's interesting. Ooh. The Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner with protective vitamin E and moisturizing wheat germ oil for all skin types. Okay, so what I have planned for this afternoon is um, a trip to Emory Nurseries. They have um, some greenery, some Christmas greenery. Um, but they also have a lot of Christmas decorations and lights and that sort of thing. So I want to have a look around. I think that my Christmas decorations are pretty much complete. I, I don't want to go overboard. I usually do go overboard. Um, but I really pared down a lot of my Christmas decorations to move here um, and just kept the things that I really use. And then Actually, as I was taking things out again, I did uh, donate some additional things um, just because I don't have the number of rooms. This house is not as large as my previous home. It's uh, smaller, cozier, and I, I don't need to have as much stuff out for sure. So have a great day. See you tomorrow. Christmas lights are on.